All right. All right. So today uh, we got the Tesla 22 Tesla Model Y Performance version 2022, and we're gonna actually uh, take it out on the road to go here today. Uh, we've done 100 before. We're gonna try and at least do 110 today. So we'll see where we go from there. But at least 110. Uh, you go ahead and jump in there, Mister. And I'm coming in a minute. Make sure that uh, music's down when you get in there. Um, and we do got, so we got it on 22 inch custom wheels here. So we're Pirelli tires. So we'll also um, see how that setup works. So 22 inch wheels as co compared to the 21 inch factory wheels that would be on it. So, but let's see what it do. All right. Let's make sure you don't get that number on the up there on the house number on, bro. Make sure you don't get that. And you can focus on whatever for for now. We gonna go up here, um, like you was going back across the uh, Skyway. Forty one. Yeah. Let me turn some this. Seven. Set temperature 68 degrees. All right, so y'all might have a little bit of uh, we got these mics, so we should pick up good, but uh, I did have to turn this air on because it's hot as hell here in Florida. So, uh, We'll do a quick little lunch up here at the stoplight just to, to see what we're working with. Ruck, you able to see the speed? Yeah, I got it. All right, we're in on that. And hold at the stop sign, son. Ruck, you gonna count, the, you gonna say the speed out loud, like 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, if you got a clear way, son, you go ahead and hit it when you get it over. Let that car get on down there. And we only go up there, you ain't got much room, so this will just be like a 40, 50 test, too. Okay, ready? Yep. 10, 20, 30. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so, all right. So we see we definitely got 60 then under four seconds. Uh, zero to 60, and this is supposed to be around 3.4. And uh, I would say it does that. What do you think, Rug? Did it seem like it was uh, getting there pretty fast? Absolutely. All right. What do you think, Mr. Driver over there? Yeah, it felt like about, you know, a little under four seconds, about 3.5, 3, 3 seconds right. in that range. All right, so we're going up here to uh, 41. We'll make a left. And uh, we we'll see if we get some room up here. And Ruck, when, uh, when we do do it again, you just like you did the speed, uh, that was good. So we'll have you do the speed. Uh, we'll, so our driver can focus on the road. He won't have to worry about that. Yeah, these Pirelli's on here. So, and uh, so, like I say, uh, this is actually my wife's saying. So we did put 22s on it. Um, the 22s, the ride quality is pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as, of course, you know, the, a tire with more profile, but that's as it should be, but not bad at all, not horrible. And for the looks of it you get, um, I think it's well worth it. So, and also if you, um, any of you guys, um, you got your Tesla, so we do sell these rims for uh, Model Ys, Model 3s, Model Xs, and Model Ss. So, uh, you can uh, contact me um, if you're interested in purchasing some uh, rims for your Tesla. So, I'll try and remember to put some contact uh, email address in the uh, description below if I can remember so which is the fastest Tesla that they make is it the, that would the be X uh, or the Roadster or uh, the no it'd be the, right now currently it would be the Tesla Model S Plaid that would be the your fastest Tesla and uh, that will just what's, about hmm. what's the zero to 60 on that on that one um the conservatively you looking at or you know depending on the day and the street but two four easy Two uh, four. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's ran a one. The Motor Chin, uh, uh, timed it at a one point nine, but that was on a special road that was like almost like it's a special road that's like fit for going fast, so it's stickier. So I don't count that time, but it just out here anywhere, it'll do two four anywhere any day. Uh, even on, on a good day, it might do two three two two. Um, so yeah. That's uh, and that outrun just about anything. That outruns your Lamborghinis, your Ferraris, uh, just about anything. You'd be hard pressed to name a vehicle that can uh, keep up with the Plaid, the 60. 
I don't even know if the Bugatti outruns the play at the 60. I'd have to check the numbers on that. So. Good if we could get up to a step. Well, is this a stoplight or coming up here? If it's a stoplight, that we could actually actually get no, stopped at. Would no stoplights. No stoplights. All right. Much, you know, for a while. For a while. All right. We'll see what we do here. for what you're gonna try to do. <laughs> I know it's, sure? oh yeah, I know it seems like it, but trust me, when you get to running over 100, uh, stuff start coming up real quick. <laughs> All right, let me know for you, don't do it yet, but is it open up here or you still got traffic? No, it's, it's traffic. Okay. Let me know if you see a stoplight coming up, that we can get That it. first one, 41, is coming up in a little bit. Okay. Try and slow down and maybe you can get stopped at the stoplight. Uh... It just changed green. Just, just changed green? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tell you what, get in your turning lane. Next lane you can make that with me a left, we'll get over there. And we ain't gonna turn, we're just gonna use that lane to wait for the right light to turn red again. Or did we already pass the stoplight? Yeah, we already passed. Oh, hell. Yeah. You just want to make a U-turn and come back no, this you way? Ain't got enough, you ain't got enough room yet. Enough room for what? To get the speeds I'm going to try and get here. Oh. Anybody behind you? No. Slow down. Ruck, let me know if anybody come up behind us. Slow them down some more. Slow, slow. All right, hit it. Rock, you give us speed. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, All right. 118. All right. You see what I mean? So you need a lot of, you see, you need a lot of space, so. Pretty fast there. <laughs> All right. Well, it's traffic on that other side. Um, it's less traffic over there than over here, mm -hmm. but it's still. But it's know, still traffic though. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, we'll have. We might jump on the interstate up here. Uh, yeah, we'll come back on the interstate. See what it do. Uh, you don't know how. Let me get to some direct. You know how to get on the interstate up here? Uh, so that you ain't going to go towards the Skyway. You're going to go the other way. So it'll be on your left. So where you would usually exit right to go to the Skyway, you're going to stay in your left, and it'll be an exit to your left. You'll see 75, uh, or what's that, 275. Uh, yeah, left. Okay. Just let me know when you get into that exit that you usually exit at now. Remind me. But yeah, uh, so we added up to 116, 118 there. Uh, we met our goal of 110 today, so we'll get up here again. I'm gonna try and see if we can succeed 120. Um, now that plaid, uh, we're gonna try and get a plaid and do this too. Now that plaid would still be like this. After 100, it's you know it's still moving, but it's taking time to get on up. That plaid would just zip through 100. I think we should go ahead and go over there. Over where? On this other All right, side. then do that. Then. Let's run. Let's run. Do, do that. Then. Make a U-turn. Sure. You sure? I don't know. Go to the interstate, cause uh. 
Yeah, we're going to the interstate. It's going to be a lot better than the interstate. Why, why do you think the interstate is empty? You say, why I think the interstate is what? It's not going to be empty on the interstate. Uh, but the interstate, I'm hoping it's less traffic there, but it's definitely... It's, it, it's not less traffic. No, I'm not sure about that, but but it's the interstate's a much better road to be doing speeds like this on. Um, but we can try it if you think this road here is fine. Well, you gotta let me know. If you I, know I, I, go, uh, go ahead if you don't see no traffic, which I'm seeing a lot of traffic or like going the other way. And it is straight going back the other way, right? Because I don't want you in no turn running these speeds. Yeah, straight. All right. So let's wait. You waiting? Uh, so let's wait a while here until maybe some of that traffic go really gone down. Okay. So just sit We're here. Let this car go by me. Oh, it's the one behind you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Then maybe you going across and we'll, we'll yeah going across the street and we'll come back. Yep. And we'll turn around. Yep. It look like you can just go right here. To where? This way. That's what I'm telling you. So, UK, I know it looked like that to you, but you'll fly off this road trying to do this little small road. No. Okay. So turn around and go back to the other road. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't. It seemed like that to you, but when you get up to 90, you'd see real quick you a little small road like this is not uh, for no speeds like that at all. I should have went to the interstate like I was thinking. Definitely a uh, real good pickup. I'm pretty impressed with this. I can't wait to try to play it. But yeah, this Performance Model Y. Um, and hold up here. Let's see if we can wait till we actually get a lot of room here. So. And I don't want you to, uh, if you come up on any traffic period, even, you know, if your lane's still open, I still want you to uh, slow down. Cause I don't want you to fly past nobody. So hopefully we'll, we'll see. Seems like after this truck go by, we should be good. Mm -hmm. Let that go a while in. Okay. Yeah. And the uh, and the, you know, people don't understand how fast you're running, so be ready to slam on your brakes. It's got uh, good brakes on it, so. Mm -hmm. So just uh, whenever you feel like you, before any other cars come by, and wait till you straight to punch it, so. All right, that should be room. Anything else somebody might pull out. All right, let me tell you straight. And go ahead, let's get it. Ruck, give us our speed. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Make sure nobody pull out in front of you. 110. 120. All right, all right. So we got 120 here today. Um, Maybe another day we might take it out on the interstate. We get a bunch of room and see you slow them back down to some normal speeds. Now test out your brakes, see what they don't hit them all the way, but hit them pretty hard, see what they they feel to you. Yeah, that's it's pretty solid. Yeah, so you do got bigger brakes on this performance version too than the, uh, just the dual motor version of the Model Y. So all in all, wheels even feel pretty stable. Um, we'll see what these other guys in here what ruck our cameraman and what uh what my son think we'll get their little reviews here in a minute but uh, i'm pretty happy even with the 22s on that that's ride still pretty good um actually really good uh pirelli tires on here i'm on switch i think the goodyear tires next um and these are actually not the best pirellis on here but they um they are no complaints on them but i am going to switch to them good years and see what they do um when we uh have to replace some tires here so so, but uh, overall, what do you think of it, son? You know, obviously, I'm the one behind the wheel, and I just, you know, a lot of cars, even, you know, with my car, just a regular little Honda Accord, when you get up to high speeds, you know, shaky, you don't want to, you know, be going to high speeds like that, but what the, the main thing with this one is, when you get up to those high speeds, it's still steady, good ride quality, 
and that's obviously, you know, the performance you want to have for a car like this. Yeah, sure, it's still stable at those speeds, and uh, you're right, this is actually lowered. So because this is a performance version, it's supposed to be, you know, it's kind of built for speed. It's actually lowered, uh, it's got the bigger brakes on it, it's got the bigger tire wheel set up on it, and I mean, I even upgraded that some more. But even the factory, um, the factory Model Y Performance has 21 inch on it, and they're staggered, and some pretty wide tires on it. So all that helps with your grip and stuff. Ruh, what do you think? Yeah, I think I got on the speed real quick. Brakes seem real good. I like it. Okay, all right. Well, we hope to get these gentlemen and some Teslas here in the next couple years, too. So, uh, some of their own. So, uh, we do sell Teslas. Anybody need one, uh, let me know. So, um, top, oh, I did before I forget, top speed in this vehicle is actually 155 miles per hour. So, um, yeah, it's a uh, pretty, you know, pretty fast vehicle. Um, definitely one of the quickest vehicles out here and uh fast it's uh pretty fast too so uh like i said we'll see what we can get next uh we had the model three we actually had the model three in the standard range up to 140 um out on i-75 actually uh, uh my son here was the one that did that too so um that one's even more stable that thing's glued to the road of course it's a car so uh but that wasn't even the performance version that was the standard range version so but uh, yeah, for all the dog here, uh, pretty happy with the uh, with this thing. Definitely your zero to sixty is. Uh, I mean, that's something. Um, you're in. You're you're in. To put it, and you know, when I'm saying numbers, if you're not a car freak like me, you may not know what the numbers. I'm saying three point four. You're like, okay, what does that mean? To put it in perspective for you, this car will run with a Hellcat to sixty. So, you know, I think that puts it in pretty in uh, pretty much perspective. Rock, any questions you can think of? Did it surprise you? Did you know that this car was as fast as that Hellcat in the 60? Or does that surprise you? That surprises me. Yeah. Definitely. I did not think this car was as fast as that car. Yep. It's this as fast as a Hellcat. Most Hellcats. You might have one wide body that might be like 3233. It it really be uh, either one could win. Because again, I've seen demons running around 222324. And that's right around what the plaid's at. So um, yeah, that'd be a that'd be an interesting race. Uh, the Demon Knight would overtake it after a 90 or 100. That'd be real interesting. I'd like to see that. Um, yeah, I'd like to see. That would be a very interesting race there. But we do. The Tesla's fastest car should come out probably next year, which is going to be the Roaster 2. Yeah. Now, the Roaster 2 will blow the Demon off the road. There will be... They, they, um, the Roaster 2, they're saying... 1.5 seconds to 1.90 to 60 top speed of about 250 so that's gonna blow just about oh, yeah. anything any, any, anything they make in america that's just gonna be good. yeah well just about anything period for zero to 60 probably anything period for your top end now the bugattis are running almost up to 300 now so well, you know they got you know those foreign cars in france and italy and stuff like that that run a little faster than the cars we got in america well what cars are you talking about like ferraris lamborghinis and stuff no they got Not different it. they got different names i forget what the name mm -hmm. of them are but well i don't know nothing that outruns the bugatti now there are some other ones up there you know they like low production they really expensive so yeah stuff like that. it's not it's not you know real high production mm -hmm. stuff people drive around day to day which like you said like the demon i don't count that stuff i want something that's naturally fast something i can ride on my everyday basis yeah but, you know, there are some cars that, you know, obviously they're just meant for racing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're counting those, then, yes, they would be some that would probably uh, hang with that roaster. But, yeah, I don't I don't. Just count for a, a normal car that you All right. Know. And don't get our um, house number on there, um, Ruck. But uh, and you can just stop whenever you get in there. All right. So that went well. Hey, everybody, man, please, please, you want to see more videos like this? You want to see us do the Plaid, uh, the Model 3 Performance? You want to see the Model X Plaid out there running these speeds. You want to see this go up to maybe 130 next time. Any of that you want to see, I need you right now to hit that like button for me, comment, and subscribe. Um, you guys have been really um, jumping on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, we're definitely going to try and do more of these videos. But I need you guys to uh, please, please do that for me so we can bring you know, more of these videos. I want to thank Ruck, our cameraman, for um, you know coming out today and doing this, doing an extra job with the camera and the audio. And I want to thank my son doing an extra, um, extra, excellent job driving uh, and met our 120 goal today. So actually, our goal was 110 and we did 120. So excellent. All right. Hey, we'll see you guys on the next one.